Hello, and welcome to Storytime Adventures, where we tell stories for kids. I'm your host, Jackie, and I'm excited to share a new story with you today. Whether you're listening with your family at home or on a road trip like we often do, we hope our stories spark your imagination and take you on an adventure. Without pictures to guide us, using your imagination is like having a magic paintbrush, where the pictures in your mind are often more vivid and wondrous than any picture on a page. Before we begin, we want to give a big shout out to our listeners. Thank you for tuning in and supporting our podcast. If you enjoy our show, please leave us a review on your favorite podcast platform and share it with your family and friends. Stay tuned after the show for a fun activity that you can do with your family and friends that's connected to science, math, reading, or writing. Now sit back and relax and let your imagination take flight. We're excited to share this adventure with you. The Dino Detective, Mystery of the Missing Moths. Once upon a time, in a land of long ago, there lived a clever dinosaur known as the Dino Detective. She had a sharp mind and a keen sense of observation, and she loved to solve mysteries. Every day, she would wander around the land, searching for clues and solving puzzles, always eager for a new challenge. One day, she was walking through the dense forest when she heard a loud noise. It sounded like someone in trouble. She followed the sound and soon found a group of scared insects gathered around a big tree. What's going on here? Asked the dino detective. It's terrible, said a trembling moth. This is the sixth time today one of our insect friends has gone out and not returned. The dino detective listened carefully as the moths explained the situation. They were running out of time and they didn't know what to do. The other insects in the group were nodding their heads in agreement. The dinosaurs depended on the insects to pollinate their plants and provide food, so it was a big problem that the dino detective needed to solve for both her insect and dinosaur friends. They needed to find out who or what was taking their friends and put a stop to it before it was too late. The dino detective thought for a moment and then asked, Do you have any leads or suspects? The moths shook their heads. No, we don't. We looked everywhere and asked around, but no one seems to have seen anything, said one of the moths. The dino detective knew she had to act fast. She decided to offer her services to the moths and promised to find out what was happening to their friends. I'll help you solve this mystery, said the dino detective, but I need your help. You need to tell me everything you know about the disappearances. The moths looked relieved, and one of them said, Thank you, Dino Detective. We appreciate your help. With that, the Dino Detective eagerly took on the case and set out to gather information, determined to solve the case and bring the culprit to justice. She searched high and low, talking to every animal she could find. She discovered that the insects were last seen near a grove of orchids, but shortly after that, each one of them had disappeared without a trace. Later that day, the dino detective came across a dirt trail and decided to walk along it to see where it led, keeping her eyes peeled for any sign of suspicious activity. Along the dirt path, she found a lizard basking in the sun and asked him where he was when the insects disappeared. The lizard, still sleepy from his nap, mumbled that he was under a rock and he didn't see or hear anything. The dino detective wasn't satisfied with this answer, but she didn't want to accuse the lizard without any proof. The dino detective cleared her throat and looked at the lizard with a stern expression. You were under a rock, you say, and you are sure you didn't hear or see anything suspicious? Think carefully. Your answer could be vital in solving this mystery, she said. The lizard rubbed his eyes and yawned. I'm pretty sure, dino detective, I was snoozing the whole time, he replied. After interrogating the lizard, she continued on her way, following the path until she reached a tall tree. There, she spotted a bird perched on a branch and approached her with caution. She asked the bird if she saw or heard anything unusual that day the insects disappeared. The bird replied that she was busy building a nest and didn't notice anything out of the ordinary. The dino detective listened carefully to her response, trying to read between the lines. Dino turned her attention to the bird and raised an eyebrow. Building a nest, you say? 
That's quite a task. Are you sure you didn't notice anything strange happening around you? She asked. The bird tilted her head and looked at Dino with confusion. No, Dino Detective. I was too busy collecting twigs and sticks for my nest. She replied innocently. After questioning the bird, the Dino Detective decided to keep investigating and continued on the dirt trail that eventually led to a dead end with a dark cave. She cautiously entered, scanning the area for any potential suspects. It was there that she found a bat sleeping in a corner. She woke the bat up and asked if he had any information about the missing insects. Sorry to disturb your rest, but I need to ask you some questions about the missing insects. Were you hunting for bugs all night, or did you happen to see something unusual? The dino detective asked. The bat let out a sigh and rubbed his eyes with his wings. Yeah, I was out all night looking for food. Didn't see anything strange, though. He grumbled. The dino detective made a mental note of the bat's alibi and decided to investigate further. As the dino detective continued her investigation, she began to grow suspicious of the bat. The bat had been out hunting for bugs at the time the insects went missing, and that seemed a little too ironic. However, the dino detective needed more evidence before she could make any accusations. The next day, while she was wandering through the orchid grove, the dino detective stumbled upon an orchid with a single moth wing left behind. Hmm, this looks suspicious, she muttered to herself as she bent down for a closer look. It looked like the work of a predator, and the dino detective couldn't shake the feeling that something was watching her nearby. She cautiously approached the orchid, trying to get a closer look. Suddenly, she saw movement out of the corner of her eye. <laughs> to her surprise, the orchid mantis was perched on a nearby branch, watching her with its piercing eyes. The mantis was so well camouflaged, mimicking the appearance of the orchid, that Dino had almost missed it. Realizing that she had found her culprit, the Dino detective cautiously approached the mantis, ready to make an arrest. Gotcha! The Dino detective exclaimed. As the mantis was being questioned, it became clear that it was just trying to find its next meal. I'm sorry for scaring your friends, the mantis said. But as a predator, I have to eat too. Moths are part of the food web, and I need them to survive. The dino detective understood the mantis's predicament, but she couldn't let the insect go without consequences for its actions. She gave the mantis a stern warning and sent it on its way. Later that day, the dino detective gathered the moths together to let them know the case was solved. The moths were relieved to know who had been preying on their friends. However, they were also curious about how the mantis was able to hide so well. The dino detective explained the concept of cryptic mimicry. She showed them pictures of various predators, like some snakes, lizards, and frogs that use these techniques to blend in with their surroundings or look like something else to catch their prey or hide from predators. If you know what to look for, you can spot these predators and avoid them, she said. The moths listened intently, and the dino detective could see that they were taking her words to heart. With this knowledge, they could better protect themselves and continue to pollinate the plants that the dinosaurs depended on. As the sun set on the forest, the dino detective felt satisfied that she had helped both her insect and dinosaur friends. With the mystery solved and the moths educated, the dino detective felt proud of herself for being able to help her insect friends. She bid them farewell and went on her way, knowing that she had made a positive impact in the forest by educating the moths. Now, the Dino Detective was ready for the next mystery to solve. The end. In today's story, an orchid mantis was one of our featured characters, but did you know that this beautiful and mysterious pink orchid mantis has captivated humans for centuries? Native to Southeastern Asia, 
in countries such as Thailand, it dwells in rainforests on plants. Like all mantises, this species is carnivorous and adept to catching prey. Rather than chasing down or fighting, it waits for the perfect chance to ambush any small insect that is drawn to its fake pink petals. The pink orchid mantises look and behave like flowers. They latch onto branches and sway back and forth, imitating the currents of the wind. Insects drawn to the fake petals are swiftly caught and eaten. The color of the leaves can change from pink to brown on the mantis's back in order to mimic its surroundings. It is believed by many researchers that this camouflage and mimicry does not only serve to help catch prey, but also to protect it from its predators. I hope you enjoyed learning more about the orchid mantis today. We provided a link in the podcast description to download a free activity booklet that complements this story, The Dino Detective, Mystery of the Missing Moths. The booklet offers a range of activities to deepen your engagement with the story. You can retell the story with pictures or words. To learn more about the orchid mantises, you can watch a PBS video linked through a QR code and then write about three things you discovered, two interesting facts, and one question or wondering you still have. Additionally, you can explore the story further to make connections to the STEM engineering design process by creating your own camouflage bugs and collecting data to better understand camouflage. If you're traveling in the car soon, find directions on how to make origami orchids or mantises and bring those directions and extra paper to keep you busy while traveling. We hope you enjoy these activities and have fun exploring the themes and ideas in the story. Hey kids, it's time for some jokes. We hope our story today sparked your imagination and took you on an exciting adventure. But before we go, we have some jokes that are sure to make you laugh. What did the duck detective say to his partner? Let's quack this case. What do you call an alligator in a vest? A investigator. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Dino. Dino who? Dino might. That's who. That's it for today's story on Storytime Adventures. We hope you enjoyed listening as much as we enjoyed telling it. We love it when our listeners share their projects and activities related to the story. So be sure to tag us at Storytime Adventures Podcast on social media. If you have any feedback or suggestions for future stories, please reach out to us at Storytime Adventures Podcast at gmail.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our podcast on your favorite platform so you never miss an episode. Join us again next time for another exciting adventure. Until then, keep exploring, keep imagining, and keep dreaming big. Thanks for listening.